When you go to collect your unknown, one of the things that you want to do is get the container that has your unknown and shake it up a lot. The reason for that is because there are four different substances in here and one of those or several of them can actually kind of sink to the bottom even though it's a solid they can basically end up at the bottom so whenever you get this unknown screw the cap on tightly shake it up a lot and you're good to go the next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to press on on your digital balance it's going to go through the calibration steps and once you've completed those calibration steps, it's going to read 0, 0.00. Put your beaker on the digital balance, press the T to zero out the digital balance, and then the lab manual tells you to get approximately two to three grams of your unknown sample, and that's just a rough range. So whether you get two grams or three grams, it doesn't really matter that much. You just don't want to get too much more. As you can see, I got 4.78 which is a little bit more than I need. So what I am going to do is I'm going to collect the excess here in a way boat nearby. And look, as you can see, it doesn't take a whole lot to get it to a large mass. I'm gonna put that into a way boat. I've got 3.62, get a little bit less. And 2.73, that's a good stopping point. This excess, what I'm going to do is take it to the solid waste container and dispose of it there because I don't want to put it back in, into the unknown stock because basically I would have already contaminated that. 